Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. The purpose of this video is to give an understanding of Jacob's trouble. To get a deeper understanding of the scriptures, it is important not to guess. The scriptures are similar to a puzzle. You have to connect the pieces that match to get a better understanding of what took place. The prophets saw events that they are doing their best to explain, but their analogies are limited by the objects of their time. The way we are limited by not being familiar with some of the objects they use to express their visions. If we combine the same events from different prophets, we can get a better understanding of what will take place prophetically. Let's take a look at Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is mentioned in one place in the scriptures. We can guess at what we think is Jacob's trouble, or we can connect the dots. So let's start with Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, and there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The key in that verse is to understand there is no day like it. In other words, this will be the worst day ever for the Israelites. It is natural to want to include all people in this day of trouble. But the reason why it's called Jacob's trouble is because it's the worst day for the children of Jacob. We have to connect other accounts of this worst day. To find other accounts of this day, we will go to Matthew 24 and Luke 21. You can also include Mark 13, but for this video, what is said in Mark and Matthew are too similar and no need to include. But feel free to read. For this exercise, we will go to Matthew and Luke and work our way backwards. Matthew 24, 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Luke 21, 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. The connector in these two accounts is seeing the Son of Man coming. Both Matthew and Luke are talking about Yeshua's return. Now let's go to verse 29 in Matthew and 26 in Luke. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Luke 21, 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking on those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The connector in these two verses are the powers of heaven will be shaken. Although some of the words are different, it's the same event. Matthew mentions a tribulation, but what tribulation is he talking about? Let's keep going and just remember we're going backwards. Luke 21, 25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations and perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. In Matthew it says the moon will not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, again showing the same event. For Matthew we are staying with verse 29, because in Luke it says signs in the stars and in the moon. In Matthew it says the moon will not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Again, we can see it's the same event. Remember, we're talking about Jacob's trouble. So now we will go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Now we're going to go back to Jeremiah. Alas, that day is great, so none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Matthew says the tribulation is the worst time on earth for these people. And Jeremiah says Jacob's trouble is the worst day, showing that the tribulation is Jacob's trouble. It's the same event. When you read through all these three accounts, they're all seeing the same day, describing it differently. And now we're going to connect back to Matthew 24, verse 21 to explain the tribulation. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Then we go to Luke, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and they shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation, are both the same event. 
when it says they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations is talking about the transatlantic slave trade. Everything that took place in the transatlantic slave trade till now is the Great Tribulation, also called Jacob's Trouble. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.